Hey everybody, um, I hope your week's going well. I wanted to take some time and explain to you guys about the project that has posted today. Um, I don't want you to get confused, so I'm going to take some time in this video and tell you how to do it and what I expect. Um, as always, if you have questions, you can email me and I can either, you know, answer you by email. I can call you if you prefer, or we could do a video chat. So watch this first to see, you know, what you think about it, and then I can explain it further if I need to. So um, this is a pies and pastries unit. And basically what you're going to be doing for this project is creating a pie brochure. So please use the information that I've given you in the pies and pastries slides document um, to help you create this because I don't want you guys to have to do more work than what is necessary. See, like I said, use what I've given you. Um, the first thing that you need to do is say what a pie is. And you can just Google that one because I didn't really give you a definition of that. Basically, it's a pastry crust with some kind of filling in it. Um, but Google that, okay? Um, the next thing you need is an explanation of three different pie crusts with a short description of each. So, for example, um, the pie crust, one is a crumb crust. So you're going to say what a crumb crust is. Like, for example, what types of cookies do you usually find in a crumb crust? How's it made? Um, what kind of pies is it good for? Um, and then you're going to need an explanation of three different types of pies. So for this one, you need to explain the pie, but you also need a picture of it. And you're going to need information about each with um, the typical ingredients and how to make them. So for example, in a fruit pie, what are the typical ingredients that you would find? Fruit, how do you make it sweet? Like that kind of thing. So again, look back at that slides document. Um, another type of pie is custard, and that's also in the slides, and I don't really want to tell you anymore because that would defeat the purpose of you guys doing this project. So in addition to explaining that type of pie, you also need to give the crust that would be best for that type of pie. Um, so for a fruit pie, what would be the best type of crust out of the three that you've given? please only use the information given in class. Okay, um, so keep it neat and somewhat brief because it's a brochure and brochures are not books. So you don't need a ton of information. I just want what I've asked for and what's necessary. So don't make it more work for yourself than you have to. Um, be creative with your design elements, colors and picture placement. So to create the brochure, I found a website where you can create them for free. Of course, there's always like, hey, upgrade if you want to. I don't want you guys to upgrade. Use the templates that are free, please. Um, you're just going to sign up with your Google account and that's it. So I'll take you through that because uh, it might confuse you a little bit if I don't do that first. But you're going to once you click and you create your account, they're going to ask you to pick the templates that you like so that they can give you some choices at the beginning. Um, so if I were you guys, I would try to pick ones with solid backgrounds just because it's going to come already with information in it. And then you're going to have to go back through and delete things and add your own information. But that will make more sense when I explain it to you. Okay. Um, and then we'll talk about how you turn it in. So let's just click on this link here. And I already signed up for an account, so it's not going to take me through that process. All right, so up here is the upgrade. Do not do that. Um, and then like these premium ones, those are ones you have to pay for. So you are not going to be choosing those. So what these are infographics, and I don't really want you guys to make an infographic. I want you to make a brochure. So the easiest way to find that is just to search for it. Okay, and then you're going to get 
you know, some choices to pick from. So like this one would be okay. This one would be good. You're not really going to, you're not going to be changing colors and stuff like that. I mean, unless you want to, I don't know if you can though. So try to pick one that is not, you know, that you think it, it looks good, but it's not too much. Like, don't pick this. That's an infographic. You want something that has, that's a trifold. Okay, so something like this. So click on create. Okay, so as you can see, there are pictures here. There's different text here. We're going to be getting, getting rid of all of that. My suggestion to you is to figure out what you want, where you want to put your information and do it piece by piece. So don't go through and erase everything because it kind of gives you a template and a reminder of where certain things go in a brochure. So for example, um, this first um, column on the right hand side that is going to be the front page of your brochure because remember when you fold it how it goes so that's going to be the front page and then this is going to be the very back of the brochure so without unfolding it this is the front this is the back keep it in mind okay so you're going to go through and like i don't want this picture here because i'm not selling a home so i'm going to get rid of that and then i'm going to add my own picture, or I'm going to add, you know, my title in here, and I'm going to put pies. Pies will be my title. Whoops. And obviously, I don't want it here because that is not the front page. So I'm going to move it over here if it lets me. Okay, and then, you know, put my name down here. I, if I could take it, that would be nice. And then, you know, you can go back through and change fonts and all that stuff. Like, I don't want this part as big as the other part. So I'll make it 32. Uh, I might want to put a nice picture on here, get rid of these little circle things and that kind of thing. Okay, this is just the one page, so you have to go to the other page too. So to get to page two, you're just clicking that down arrow. And then this is where the bulk of your information is going to be. So this is where you're gonna put what is a pie, um, your three different types of crust, and you're going to explain them, your three different types of pies with pictures, and um, make sure you guys have pictures in there, okay? When you're all done, and you're happy with how it looks, you're going to go up here to publish. Um, you can't really, you can't use share or download because it's, you needed a, a premium membership, you have to upgrade, we're not doing that. Okay. Actually, let's preview it first. That way we can see what it looks like. Okay, so there's my first page. You can see it easier here without all of that other stuff, without all the tools and things like that. And I didn't do anything to this page because that would take too long to show you guys. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go back to this window and now I'm going to publish it. And I'll just call it Pi Pusher. And I'm going to click publish. And then over here, I have my URL. This is what I need from you guys. Okay, so then you are going to left click on the URL and you're going to copy the link address just like that. Um, you're going to go back to the Google Doc with the explanation of your project. And right here where it says your pie brochure link, you are going to paste it. So we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to either left click and hit paste or you can do control V and that will also paste it. There it is. Now I can go in and check out your pie brochure. 
So that's how I'm going to give you guys a grade. So please make sure that you include the link in the rubric. Um, this is how the points are broken down so you guys can see. Um, this is going to be a summative grade. So please make sure that you are including everything that you need. You're following the directions and you get it turned in on time. Um, for you guys, I believe this is going to be due. Let me check. Um, next, so for virtual and blue students, this is going to be due next Wednesday, which I believe is, let me check you guys, hold on one second. That is going to be due October 7th, Wednesday, for blue and virtual students. Um, for the white students, yours will be due Thursday, October 8th, okay? Every day, every class day that it's late after that, um, that will be at least a 10% deduction. So it's out of 40. So you will start, if you turn it in a day late, with minus four, and then another minus four. So please make sure, I'm gonna give you guys a lot of time to do this. Um, there are gonna be days, I believe, September 30th for virtual and blue students, and then October 1st for the white students. That's going to be a day of just working on your project. So please make sure you guys are using your time and getting it done. And then there will also be time in class where you can work on it. Uh, but let's talk about how the points are broken down. So you get two points for your definition of what a pi is. Um, for your three pie crusts, you get nine points. So three points per pie crust. Um, a description. So you need to tell me what is the pie. Name that type of pie crust, I mean. Um, a description of what it is, and then basic ingredients for each type. Okay. Um, three different types of pies, 12 points. So four points per type of pie. Because you need a picture, which is a point. Um, you need information about each one, which are ingredients and how you prepare it, and then the crust that's typical to that pie. Okay, spelling and grammar, seven points. So if you have no spelling or grammar errors, you will get all seven points. Your creativity is 10 points. So please don't just throw things into this brochure. Getting the information for you guys is going to be easy because most of it is going to be found in the Google Slides document one that looks like this. Um, so please use that information, but remember that 10 points of this is creativity. So set up and look are aesthetically pleasing. That means it's nice to look at. Is it attention grabbing? Okay, so do you have bigger titles than your pictures or you know bigger titles in your descriptions and things like that? And then you've put work into the setup. So the good thing with these brochure templates is that, like I said, you want to keep Keep what's there until you're ready to delete it and put your own information in because it's already set up for you guys. So it should be pretty easy um, with that in mind. Okay, so total of 40 points and um, that's it. Just make sure that you remember to paste the link to your brochure so that I can look at it and grade you with this rubric and that's it. So if you guys have questions, email me and I'll get back to you, okay? Thanks.